Hey, um, YouTube, can I just ask something? What the heck is going on with our weather? Like, literally. Just, well, at least the plants are getting a good bit of water. But anyway, welcome to a new vlog. Excuse the shit everywhere, but... Uh, how long has that been out? Oh, but it's still quite cool. You beers are starting to roll out. Don't ever get that, by the way. Tastes like shit. It's horrible. I don't even know what the hell it's still doing in my room. Tastes like what? literally it's just it's like shit in a bag. Sorry, KFC, but God. But two things I can never go without are these two. I love them both equally. And. Coke and beer. That kind of Coke to be more exact. And shut up. That's the time. I'm having a Coke and a bag of sweeties. And those of you repetitively asking, how's Nan? How's Nan? She's still alive, I can assure you of that. What you should be asking... Is how's Joe? How's Joe? Because the amount of times I take the piss out of Nan, I'm surprised I'm not six foot under yet. <laughs> nah, she'd never do that to her grandson, would she? No. The only time she'd do that to her grandson if as if I called her grandmother. You know, that's the only time she would bury me six foot under. To be honest though, Nan, I'd probably be the same with my kid, with grandchildren if, if I had any. If they call me grandfather, I'd be like, No! You know what you did. You know what you've done, don't you dare. All right, YouTube. Just currently off to see Aaron. Um, as usual, I'm going to time lapse the journey up there. When I can start the time lapse, that is. Just um, looking down the road at the minute. I'll, um, you know what? I'll start the time lapse by the traffic lights, actually. running plenty of time Right, people, I feel like quite the arsehole if I didn't show you this. So I'm going to take a different way home from seeing Aaron, just so I can show you this. Let's get through here. Look how low that sun is already. Oh, great, the windscreen is clean again. Look at that sun. Jeez, that's so low. Oh. Right, and you bet I'm gonna time lapse. Show if the phone goes wonky. Okay, people, I just want to show you how you should merge onto a motorway. This isn't a motorway, 
but it's an A road, dual carriageway style, so we're just going to use it anyway as an example. So it is a pretty good example. Did you see that? Indicator and merging. Don't just merge in, you have an indicator for a reason. I will see you guys a little further to home, a little closer to home. Do a quick lesson on roundabouts as well while we're at it. So we're just coming on to one off the A40. So now we're on the big Denham roundabout now. So this acts as a road leading up to separate roundabouts. So quick slow down to glance over to my right. Is anyone doing a UE? No. Anyone coming from the right? No. Speed up, exit the roundabout. Right indicator on at the roundabout you intend to go round. Now this car's currently blocking me. However, there is no one to my left. So I can just go round him. If there was someone to my left, I wouldn't have been able to do that. Always make sure you drive in the left hand lane if you are not overtaking. Now if, you're in, if you know you're going to be able to pull off faster than another car, you can potentially use the right hand lane go round the roundabout in order to get past them but I would not recommend it I would recommend doing the roundabout in the left hand lane until you have completed the manoeuvre then plan the overtake for after and while we're here we're going to do a cross off road lesson as well so because I want to take the A412 I want to get into the right hand lane so no one's letting me in yet this BMW driver's going to let me in. So I'm going to display the hazard lights twice to thank. Right indicator back on. So I want to come in here now. And then just three signals to say I want to get into the left hand lane. And there you go, it's nice and simple, yet 90% of road users do not know how to do that properly and effectively. Now I'm just going to time lapse here because we're going to get stuck in a bit of shit leading up to home. Typical space closer there to the right. You can see we're all slowing down. So he closes off the space. It's Mercedes drivers, it doesn't matter how old the car is. That's 95% of Mercedes drivers not letting the bus go I'm just going to flash the bus to say to go bus has picked up on that nicely it'll probably thank but I don't want to flash but I thanked out the mirror actually I might not have seen him always let the bus go because they have a job to do the only job you have to do is to drive your car the job they have to do is get everyone on the bus to their destination so who's got the most priority? Now I'm keeping a good bit of distance away from that bus. So if that bus did start rolling back, I'm gonna to wanna to get out of trouble straight away. So I would want to get into the hatch, into the line markings over here. And make sure I keep that distance from him as well. And the part-time signals aren't currently on. I believe that's because there's some road works up in front, so they haven't bothered turning them on. I'm putting the handbrake on because we're not going anywhere. And we're on a slight downhill. How are you pulling forward while on the foot brake? Well, no, there goes the other 331, the other way, towards Sutsbridge. 
So the bus is three three one's going this way, going to Ricelip. Okay, the lights are on. Maybe I can't see them. So we've got a 30 zone coming up. Do you think it's wise for me to really be picking up over 30? Not really, not this close. Because you might just end up annoying drivers behind you. So just stick to 30 if you're within a certain distance. That bus is getting ready to turn right. So I want to be wary. Not because doors will come off, uh, come off, build up, they bloody well better not do. But um, not because the doors will open, but just in case the bus driver decides to change his mind. I think, oh, hang on, it's not this turn I want, it's the next turn. I've seen bus drivers doing that sometimes if they're new to the road. If you're wondering why I'm stopping here, I may or may not need to use the toilet. <laughs> hey, it's a petrol station. They haven't told me not to, so I'm going to. This bud jumping jack. Well, look at you, look at you, Bell Bell. I don't bite. I bite kiss. Bell Bell. Bella. YouTube, help me set the bet here quick. Just looking in the mirror. Poor mirror. I think I've got a start of a rash coming up here on my nose. Does it look like I have? Or is that just me losing my shit? I think it's me losing my shit. Probably. <laughs> nice, Nan. Nice. Guys, bit of a random end. I don't know what's happening with these vlogs anymore, but don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. How do I screw up that word? All the words. Catch you in a bit.